I must heal your wife. Eh? Yeah, my wife. Of God. I must heal your wife. Yeah, heal my wife. <laughs> man of God must. Man, man of God can heal. Eh? Man of God must heal your wife. Huh? You want Jesus to heal your wife? Yes, man of God. No man of God to heal your wife. Eh? Yes, man of God. Eh? Got a medical. If she sit down, she cannot wake up by herself. She doesn't have energy. She cannot stand up by herself. Yeah, I have to spot her. Eh? Yes, man of God. So, man of God won't heal your wife. God will heal your wife. Amen. So you can't stand up and sit down. Yeah, the doctor said I have polymyotis. I, my seat, I have to adjust up. I can't climb stairs. I can't stand up from low. Press. Can you just come there? Go to the pulpit there. Go to the pulpit. Let's try by that. You know Jesus is. Let's try by that. Say so you can't climb stairs. Can you just show us when you climb there? You say she can't climb stairs. Yeah, she can't climb stairs. She can't climb the stairs. Yeah, if she sit down, she struggles to wake up. All right, now she climbs stairs now. Come back. Come. Uh, it's only when Jesus is. You say she can't climb stairs. Yes. She sit down. She can't she stand up. She struggled to stand up. Take her chair to her. Stop there, sister. Take her chair. Sit down. You say if she sit down, what? She cannot stand up by herself. I need to support her. You need to support her. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Show me if you can stand. What are you saying? God is great. You say God is what? He was small yesterday. Now he's great now. No. Because she can stand up now. Can you just walk, con walk, go that side? When you are walking here, Jesus is completing your healing. Look how she's walking. <laughs> and she wants to run. She's climbing. Ah. Uh -huh. What are you saying? <laughs> eh? God is great. <laughs> eh? That is good. God is good now. Sit down. So how long were you facing this? For more than one. She has been complaining for long, but I never knew what she was going through. And what is that doctor said there? That's the name I cannot pronounce it. It's, it's called what? Polymyotis, the weakness of the muscles. The, the, the weakness of the muscles. Polymyotis, eh? <laughs> Is the weakness of masses, polymyotis. So you can hear what doctors say. I think our doctors, they know how to can tell you a disease. They can tell you about spondylosis, polymyotis. So you can see there. Sister, stand up. So what are you saying? God is good. So my sister, God is good. Amen. Because if he's a man of God, that's why if I say he's a man of God, so I have to touch her. So the reason why I didn't want to touch her is because you say man of God must heal. So I want to show you that Jesus can heal. And that this weakness is gone forever. Amen. Yeah. Where, did, where did you marry your wife? Because that's where problem comes from. 
because there are some people who want you to come and marry home. There are some people who want you to come home to marry there. All right. You understand? And now you say if you marry here. Yeah, I'm coming originally from Cameroon, and I've been knowing my wife since 20. I get married to her since 29, 2009. So, so issue of going to marry home. It's not part of you. Eh? So this is your wife forever. Amen. My name is Tirele Toko. I'm coming from Mamelodi. The person next to me is my husband. And can you tell us what was happening with you when the man of God located you? Uh, what was happening, the man of God was passing by and my husband shouted him that he should heal me. And the problem that brought me here is that I have muscle weaknesses. So the muscle weaknesses have caused me when I'm sitting at low load, my, my chair has to be adjusted to a certain level. If it's too low, I cannot stand up from a low level. If I have to climb a stair, I have to climb a stair where there is something that I, I'm going to support myself. So that's the problem that I've been going through. And for how long have you been experiencing this problem? Uh, the problem started, I think, is more than a year, but I've been taking it lightly because I've been going to the doctor, didn't know what's happening. It started by me not being able to wear my heels anymore. It has been more than a year. So, but recently I just found out what I'm sick of in January. That's when they did the test. And they found out that my body hormones, they produce more than they should and they are fighting my muscles. My body hormones, they fight my own body. That's why it's difficult for me to climb. Um, my enzymes are elevated. My muscles are inflammated. And how is this affecting you? Knowing that you are no longer able to do the things that you were able to do. It affects me in a case that at work, I have my special chair that I sit at. If I go to a restaurant, I have to choose the kind of register. I have to check the kind of chair that they are using. I cannot do my normal work show at home. I cannot walk long distance. I get tired. My whole body is weak. And were you having faith that one day God will heal me and deliver me from this place? Yes, I was having the, the faith that today when I come here, it will be the end of my story. I was believing that God will heal me. And how did the man of God pray for you? Man of God just instructed me to walk with faith through the pulpit. And I was to my surprise, if I see that kind of stairs at work, I normally avoid the step. To my surprise, I could stand those steps. I could climb those steps. And how did you feel knowing that the man of God didn't even touch you, just instructed you to walk and you even climbed the stairs? How were you feeling at that particular point? I'm very excited to know that our God is still the same yesterday, tomorrow and forever. That he can still, he can still heal. I knew that God will heal because and uh, what also that uh, makes me to come here, the medication that they gave me, the doctor told me that I have to live with those. Or otherwise, if I don't take those medication, I will walk on wheelchair. It will be a, it's a, a chronic disease. It's something that I have to live with. So I thank God for my deliverance, for God for healing me. And what more are you believing God for since he has performed this miracle upon your life today? I believe that my deliverance is permanent in Jesus' name. Can you also introduce yourself to us and also the person next to you? Yeah, yeah. My name is Solomon Doko. I've been coming on charis now, mostly on Wednesday for more than a year now. And I thank God today when the man of God was passing by, I have to cry out for her to hear my wife. Because my wife has been going through this challenge for the past years now. It has not been easy for us because as a husband, what your wife passed through, it also affects you emotionally, physically, every way. So it has been a pain in my heart. But I thank God today because God has healed my wife. Amen. And when you were calling out to the man of God to ask him to pray for your wife so that she can be healed today, were you having faith and believing that God indeed will do it? Of course, I've been having a lot of faith because I've seen what God is doing through him for a very long time. And even myself, I'm part of the testimony.
So I was having a lot of faith. That is why we came here. We came with that faith that if the man of God could locate our situation, our situation would not remain the same. And I thank God because God has located us through the man of God. And the man of God did not even touch your wife. He just told her to walk. When you saw her walking on her own and also climbing the stairs, something that she was not able to do, how did you feel? I feel good. I don't want to lie. I feel good because I know if she is healed, myself also I'm healed. So I was so happy myself. Mm. And what are the words of encouragement would you like to give to those that are watching with this miracle that God has performed upon your house today in Jesus' name? Yeah, I would like to encourage the whole way that whatever situation that you have, don't run from God, run to God. The Bible says, whose report should we believe? We cannot believe the doctor's report. We are the children of God. We believe the report of God. If God says we are here, we have to believe God because God has the final say. So I would like to encourage the whole way, those who are going through the same situation or those who are going through any situation that the people of the way, they have already put a conclusion. I will encourage them that they must not be discouraged. They must run to God because God has the final say. So we thank God for the word, the word of healing today that we have received.